door, fingerprinting that knife. I mean, somebody jumped our fence and went through that door. You, you said, tell you what, what I know. We have an alarm system. Was the alarm was not on, but it has a, a function where the doors chime if you open the doors, whether the alarm or not. The after Robert was there, we had drinks around the you know sink. Went upstairs. We showed Robert where the shower was, where the bathroom was, right down the hall. Here's your bed. We already made out the pull-out bed for him. Um, we said good night. He said he was going to take a shower <coughs> right then. It was all sticky. Um, I went upstairs, fin like I saw the last five minutes of the show, and then started watching the first ten minutes of like some other thing on Spike TV, and I knew Victor was getting annoyed that I wasn't turning off the TV, so I turned it off and he went to sleep. Um, the next thing that I know, I hear the chime. It's two beeps. Beep beep. You don't know what happened until you heard the chime. Right. I don't know what happened until I hear the chime. So you wasn't asleep when you heard it. I was asleep, but it wakes me up. There, there are two control units. Right, the one's in our right bedroom. There in your bedroom. Yes, one's down on the first mm -hmm. floor. So I hear that. It doesn't concern me. It wakes me up, but I hear it, and I think, oh, Sarah came home. Sarah's our tenant. She lives down in the basement. She had said to us, oh, I'm going to go to Tommy John's tonight. I might come back. I might not. She occasionally does that. They have a guest room. she just trash there. Um, I thought she came home. No problem. She's very heavy. She doesn't come upstairs. I wasn't worried, like, oh, she's going to come find Robert and have a cow or anything. And she'd just come in and go downstairs. I don't know how long it was from when I heard the chime. It was not long enough for me to go back to sleep. And I hear what, what is, you know, it, w it was yelling, but it wasn't, it was just like grunts or something. But you don't know how long it was. I don't know how long it was. But it, it was not, I didn't fall back to sleep. I was still awake when I heard it, and it was pretty cl close in time to right after I hear the chime. Um, so we, Victor and I both jump out of bed, we run downstairs, there is, you know, the, the stairs end at the door, you know, I see the doors open, I see Robert is laying there, the, the bed cover is pulled back, he's laying there, there is blood on him, uh, his hand was out like, one arm was out like this and one arm was like this, I think, or somewhere across his body. Um, and there was a knife, I, I, I believe it was on, laying on him, on his, like on his stomach or something like that. I picked up the knife, I moved it, I lifted up his shirt, and I could see, clearly see, there was one, you know, puncture wound right on his belly. I lifted up his shirt a little more, there was a, a lot of blood on his chest. Um, before I touched Robert, I, I, Victor became very hysterical, and I yelled at him to go call 911. You know, just go do that. He ran upstairs. He got the phone. He came back down or whatever. Um, was on the phone with them. He gave. He handed me a towel. They, you know, they were telling him to apply pressure. You know, we were doing that. Uh, I was yelling at him about tell him, you know, we need an ambulance right now. We need an ambulance right now. And um, you know, the, eventually the the ambulance got there, the, you know, the guys came up, they got Robert, um, put him on a stretcher, and, you know, the police were right after them, basically. Um, at some point, we went downstairs, I think we were told we had to go downstairs. Um, and when I got downstairs, Dylan or somebody, might have been one of the officers, said, oh, I think it was Dylan, that the, ba that the back door was open, you know, or jar, un unlocked, whatever. And I looked at it right then, and in fact, the door was, you know, a little open. It, it wasn't completely closed, but it was closed. Um, that's it. Okay. When you came downstairs, you came by yourself, is that what you said? No. Victor and I ran down the stairs together. Okay. And then what did you see? The door was there, it was open. There was Robert laying on the bed, the cover was pulled back. Where's Dylan? He was in his room. I saw him, you know, I don't know, in this time frame, come out of his room. He, he you know, I don't think he heard the chime. You don't know? I don't know. But, uh, all right, I don't know. I saw him come out of the room. He was putting on a bathroom when he came out. So, When the officers got there, who had the robe on? 
You did? No, uh, Dylan had one on and uh, Victor had one on. Mm -hmm. I was still in my underwear. I know you guys have to figure out everything out, but, uh, you know, Robert's one of my oldest friends. And I went to his wedding, you know, he was a, he was a freshman in college when I was a senior. His parents were on my college tour, you know. Is he homosexual? No, not gay, never has been, didn't think about it, you know. No drugs, no booze, nothing. Robert was like the, you know, best, you know, absolutely straight A, you know, no-nonsense guy I ever met. But he didn't... Where was his wife all this time? What do you mean? Well, she wasn't, she didn't come over with him. No, no, she was at home. Um, I, I saw his wife recently, I saw her like on Monday, she got a new job herself. She just had like hip replacement surgery. Um, and uh, she got a new job working right across the street from me. So we, we she, Robert and I all actually all tried to go to lunch together last week. And uh, Robert couldn't do it, but Kathy and I went. You know, like I said, I, I know Victor and Dylan like better than I know my mother. There's no chance on the face of this earth that either one of them could, you know, uh, punch someone. Never mind, you know, kill someone. It's it's ridiculous. But you you said last week you got an email from uh, Robert from Robert, mm -hmm. and y'all had arranged that. He was going to stay over your house mm -hmm. tonight? Yes. And he was going to meet with the night shift? He, t he told me that in the email that's what he was doing, that he was going to meet the late crew or whatever they were. What time, do you know what time the late crew always comes in? Uh, I think I have his email today, from today, uh, where he, he emailed me again and said, oh, I told you the wrong time or something, and he said he was meeting the people, I think the shift was like 6 to 10, and what, you know, in any event, he was going to go from the CLE to his office, see these he folks, which he did, uh, continuing legal education. He, he was doing like a federal grants CLE. You see him tonight? Mm hmm He did. He he went to the CLE, which is down at 1250 H, the Washington when, Bar when, Conference. When is that over? He said it was over around 9. And then he went to the office, which is at 20, 20th and M. Um, you know, saw the folks he needed to see got a cab, he called me before he left the building, said, hey, I'm, ca I'm catching a cab right now. Took the cab. And the reason he didn't go home is what? He lives out in Oakton, so it's like a, a you know, good long drive, I guess, yeah. I don't 25 know. minutes. Okay, it, it may seem odd to you, it doesn't seem weird to me. Yeah. And we had it made plans. like he had to do something in the morning? Or did yeah, he and I were actually gonna have breakfast. Um, his. The, the company he works for has some internet infringement problems, which is a type of work I do. So I had sent Robert some pitch materials. In fact, I had some sitting out at my uh, kitchen counter for him. Uh, so we were going to go have breakfast tomorrow, talk about the, the proposal, you know, what he, he had said. I don't know if it was on the phone or email. There were some things he wanted to tweak, and then he would go to his office and I'd go to mine. Do you have a squid tonight on him? He never has. No. What? What? No. You know, he, he was coming in, didn't want to uh, um, drive out to his house so, and then have to come so back. The, so the scenario you're telling is a burglar comes in the house for the sole purpose of coming upstairs and stabbing a person who spent one, you know, no, a no, half an I, hour I, in your house. No, I don't, I don't think they knew anybody was there. All I can imagine in this, I mean, this is the worst thing that has ever happened to me. I've never been mugged. My house has never broken into. My car yeah, was broken into first once. Of all, first of all, your house wasn't broken into. It still into. hadn't been broken into. Okay, so I, I understand where, where so, you guys are well, coming so, from with this, but someone came in our house, took that knife. How did you know, get in? They came through the back door. How do you know? I heard the chime. The front door of the house was definitely locked. And, and then did you hear the chime when they went out? I did not hear it. No. Victor told me that he believes he heard the chime again. I didn't hear it. And then this person, they, then what they do, jump the fence? 
Yeah, and I was sitting in the living room saying to Dylan, like, why in the hell would you jump the fence? Why, why wouldn't the person going out the back door go through the gate? Well, how, how do you know? Amen. The fence? Good thinking. Because I, I didn't get to go out there, but I, you know, the the gate was, as far as I could tell from where I was sitting, uh, the gate looked locked to me. It would do the the gate was not ajar. Does the gate normally close when you open it up by itself? No, no, it's a really heavy metal so you door. have to you have to close it. You itself. would have to close it. Yeah. Yeah. Do you normally know keep your door unlocked? It, occasionally we leave the back door unlocked. Not not on purpose, but because we just forget to lock it. We we grill out there, you know, four nights out of five. We grilled out there tonight. You know, the grill is literally out the back door. I mean, you know, it's like three feet away from the, the door. Um, so, you know, it's, it is completely plausible that the door was unlocked. Who, who, how did you know the door was unlocked? Well, when we, when, like I said, when I came downstairs, Dylan or somebody else pointed out to me, oh, you know, the, the door was unlocked or whatever when they got down there. That, that they saw Meaning the door after was this deed has been done, yes. you guys see the doors unlocked. So yeah. maybe somebody had a key. That's possible. I mean, but there, I mean, other, other than us and our tenants there, there's a few contractors who have keys, and that's it. So, and it's one key. The key is the whole house. Do you know when to check the door before you run it? Uh, sometimes I do. Sometimes I don't. I mean, I, I I don't remember doing that tonight. And in fact, while Dylan and Robert and I were talking around the sink, standing in the kitchen, uh, I was looking out the, the back doors all glass, and they have these two big glass panels. And I looked out, and there's a there's a light in one of the tree boxes. There, well, they're in both. And I could see something like crawling around on top of it. It looked to me like a, a big bug. Um, anyway, I, w I walked outside and looked at it and came back in. That was, Did I, that was tonight. You know, what time was that? Ten forty something. I mean, it was after Robert got there before we went upstairs. And I don't. I can't tell you. Did I turn and lock the thing? I don't know. But you, you know that area is has a high crime rate of burglars, right? No. You, you didn't know? No. No, it's, I mean, we, you know, we know some of our neighbors, you know, and I think of it as a very safe place. You know, we, the one thing we ever worried about was the guy living in the van behind the house. We, we called the police about that because we saw the guy getting in the van and we thought someone's breaking into the van. And then the cops came and they said, oh, no. They talked to some people that came over. They said, actually, the guy has permission or something to live there. Yeah, he does. So that's what that was the one and only time I ever felt unsafe. I mean, you know, the, the back the alley is very well uh, lit. You know, the, we know the people not directly across, but across the way. I mean, you know, right. So that if you drive back there, it's all it's you know. There's Mercedes, Mercedes, Mercedes. I mean, right, you know, right. the people but, spend, but, like us. We spent a million two on the house. But you said you said you feel unsafe. So no, I didn't say that. No, the I said, only time was because when you saw this guy. Going yeah, breaking in the van. Yeah, I thought, oh, that's that's you know suspicious. Our, our actually our tenant Sarah was the one who insisted on calling the cops because she actually saw the guy. You know, she was all like wigged out. Oh, we better call. What time did you set the alarm for tonight? And we didn't put the alarm on. We don't we generally we don't put it on at night when we're home. We don't turn it on. Um, you know, when we leave the house, we usually turn it on. Um, truth be told, we we don't. Well, even... When Sarah comes home, if it's on. She comes in and disarms it. Is yeah, that how it yeah. Works? She knows the code. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So she be able to tell us about coming in. And sure. Whether it's on or not, and all that kind of stuff. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So she actually, like, you know, at some point, she I don't know what. So what what's does that? she put it on when she comes in? Um, not when she comes in. When any time any of us leave the house, we usually put it on. Although we, we weren't doing that for the, probably the first six to eight months we lived there. I mean, we had the system that was installed when we got, you know, when we bought the house. Um, but she, it's, again, she you know, she's, she is a little, I think, more paranoid or whatever. So, she, you know, she said at some point to me or to Victor, you know, oh, we, you know, we should start using the alarm, you know, when we come and go. So, so now we do. Um, but never at night. We've never, ever since we've lived there, we've never put the alarm on at night. I know that may sound completely stupid. I lived on Capitol Hill. 
uh, on Constitution and 11th for five years in a, you know, quote unquote fringe neighborhood. You know, nothing ever happened. It, it was safe, it was fine. I can show you murders within, I can throw a rock from 11th and Constitution to several bodies. I'm just the oblivious, stupid, you know, guy living in Washington who's. Nobody broke in that, that house tonight. There's no evidence of anybody breaking in that house tonight. Somebody came in. Well, we, we also talked to some of your neighbors. Mm -hmm. And some of your neighbors just happened to be out. Mm -hmm. Nobody came Nobody saw anybody come back there, and nobody saw anybody come back there. I mean, you know. If, if, there, if there was any other possibility, uh, you know, I'd be right there with you guys saying, okay, maybe this happened or maybe that happened. But, you know, there were the three of us in there. You know, I know, like I said, I know Victor and Dylan better than I know my mom. There is no chance on the face of the earth anybody did anything to Robert. Um, um, I mean, that, that is not the answer here. you saying that you know them. How well do they know you? I would say they would tell you the same. You sure? I would say so, yeah. Yeah. I mean, you know, you can ask them, but I mean, yeah. What time did you discover his body? Um, I'm not exactly sure what time, but I, uh, I know that I turned the TV off around 11 or 5, 11, 10, something like that. And when we were on the phone with 911, um, I, Victor asked them what time it was, and the, and the person said, you know, told him it was 11.43. So, you know, maybe 11.40, I don't know, 11.35, something like that. And they told you to put do compressions on his... Wounds. They told Victor that, and yeah, they said apply pressure. I, and, you know, I don't know if they told me to check for a pulse, or I was checking for a pulse, but... I was looking for a pulse. And you moved the knife? I did move it. Nobody else? Nobody else. You said that... Let me go back to this time again, because you got me confused. You said that you found the body at what time? I went to sleep at 11, 05, 11. I turned off the TV at 11, 05, 11, 10. I was asleep shortly thereafter. Okay. At, we were on the phone with 911, already applying pressure, you know, at 11.43. Um, so somewhere in that period, you know, five minutes maybe before. I mean, as soon as I saw Robert, you know, and could stop Victor from screaming, I, you know, I told him to run up and call 911. So it, it was and that's minutes within. Right when you saw the body? Yes. How many minutes gone by before you called 911? Not even one. Not even one? If, if it was one, it was one. I mean, as soon as I saw it, and I, I grabbed, you know, Victor, who was literally hysterical, and said, go call 911, and he ran upstairs. And Victor told you that the, the, the person that he was talking to on the 911 call said it was like 1143. Yeah, yeah. They, I mean, he asked them, what time is it? And, you know, I was yelling, you know, we need an Victor ambulance asked, now. Asked the lady the yes, I believe he asked them to say what time, you know, what to tell him what time it was. Because um, we got a problem. Okay. Because the 911 call didn't come in until 12.02. So it's like 20 minutes. It took you so long to call the police. That's, I mean, you, you could go check our phone and see what, exactly what time, because it has a... You this is on the hard line? Yeah. Yo, you already told us. I told you what I understand from what they said, was that it was 11.43. And that was from Victor telling you what they said? Yes. Yeah. You, you can look at our phone and see. I'm just wondering why he would have, you know. Send Maybe the 911 person got it wrong. What time is it? No, because, you know, we're yelling like, we need an ambulance, we need an ambulance, and, you know, it, and you it seems like. Within a minute, he went and called. He went and called. After I told them to. Right, within a minute. Yeah. That's 11.43. No, they but told him it was 11.43. I don't right, know, maybe right. the operator got it wrong, but you, no, you guys can no, check no, our phone and see get it wrong. Come yeah. on, I watch TV. I see people, like, that, die with exactly. a knife. Exactly, that's television. Phone. This is real life. Yeah. This no, is this is, is a life. lot more like TV, I think, than, uh, you know, this you would imagine. Life. 
Yeah. And you guys are focusing on us. No, no, this, no. This did we, not we happen. We focusing on the facts. That's I know. I know. All we you guys have to look do at. jobs. So all we can look at is what we know, and what we see. So long as someone's dusting the back door and all that kind of stuff, I know you guys will find evidence. There was somebody else in our house. Thanks. I know. I heard the chime. Yeah. You heard the chime. Mm -hmm. And was that the person leaving? No, I believe it was the person coming in because then I hear the then grunting you don't and hear stuff the... later. Are you not sure how much later? Right? I know I didn't fall back to sleep. Wait, you, 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 heard, you heard the chime on the door. If somebody comes in. Did you hear a scream or anything like that? No. You hear, you hear no scream? I heard the chime. And it was quiet. That's it. You know, you know, I don't know how long. Maybe it was a minute, two, three, four. I don't, you know, I, I'm just. I just woke up. I'm thinking, oh, Sarah came home, and you know, I roll back over. Your your floors, the, 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 the stairs, they hardwood, right? Mm -hmm. So you would think that if somebody was going down the stairs, even if somebody was running down the stairs, you'd be able to hear that, right? Yeah, you know, I don't know. Maybe. Oh yeah, oh yeah, you would, because because when I was there. I mean, I heard people coming up the stairs, going down the stairs, all the way up on the third floor. Okay. So that's something that if somebody stabs somebody, I would think that somebody running is something that you're going to hear. Uh, you know, I agree with you. If I'm stabbing I agree with you. I think I'm I would running. have heard or if you seen was able something, to hear, you know. If you was able to hear that little noise, shingle, you could hear somebody running down those hardwood floors. No copper. It's the hardwood floors. You would hear somebody running. You might, I honestly, I don't know how long it was before the guy, you know, ran off, but, and I don't know why he didn't go out the gate, you know, I don't know why the, the, the back door wasn't wide open, you know, I, I don't know, but. Well, the back door wasn't wide open, the gate wasn't open, yeah. no one jumped the fence, nobody landed in the dirt, there's, the dirt is not disturbed in any way around the fence, where, where you would have to stand to climb over the fence, nobody climbed over the fence, either direction. Yeah. They didn't go out that way. I, I don't know how you'd, what you would see with the dirt, but I, oh, know, I don't know. I do know, and I've yeah. been on many and many a scene. Okay. I don't know. I honestly, all, but I, what I do know without a shadow of a doubt is that neither Dylan or Victor well, you don't know do that. anything. I do you know, know that. that. I know that. <laughs> what, 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 on, what on earth, what reason on God's green earth would they have to do this? But you but know none. what? It's not even possible. They, they couldn't even like Joe, punch Joe, someone. I have a problem, sir. Because the whole time I sat in here and talked with you, I have yet to hear you say you wouldn't do it. I'm yet. Okay. Be you know what? Because that's, I don't even need to say I wouldn't do it. I, it's impossible. Why? Because you, this is one of my oldest friends. I mean, this guy, I went no, to no, his no, wedding. Joe, Joe, Joe. Oh, God, you guys are killing Joe, me. If, 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 if I didn't do it, and all these guys are my friend. I'm not going to say, I'm not going to say Joe and somebody else didn't do it. I'm going to say we ain't do it. That's the way I'm going to respond. I'm going to say we didn't I, do I've it. I've taken it for granted that you guys don't think I did it, but, you know, obviously I'm an idiot. Okay, maybe, you know, I'm a, I'm a suspect too, but, you know, why? This is one of my oldest friends. What on, what on earth would possess me to do such a thing? Never mind, could I do it? it it's, it's crazy. The whole thing is crazy. Yeah. The guy ain't supposed to be staying over at your house tonight. That's crazy. That doesn't make any sense. To I, you know, but just ask his wife if he was planning to. I, I can show you the emails right here, probably. I mean, I, you know, I got my BlackBerry. He's, this is from my work account. Um, well, maybe he's thinking about doing a little experimentation. I don't know. You know, why if, not? That were, if that were why true, not? I would tell you guys. Why would you? Because why? What, what? Because why not tell you? I mean, my God, I want you to find who did this. You know. Well, but not if it's one of you. You three, you did. Not if it's one of you three. It wasn't one of us. I mean, uh, you know. You I know you guys can't just say, "Oh, Joe says it's not us, so we're done." I, and I realize this sounds crazy. It is this. It you know. Joe. Another thing that got me, when you woke up, yeah. what did you see when you woke up? You mean when I woke up when I heard the chime? Mm -hmm. It was dark, I was laying in bed. What else did you see? 
I, I don't know. I don't remember saying anything. I don't even know if I opened my eyes. Well, yeah. Well, if you woke up, you opened your eyes. Well, maybe I did. I don't know. Yeah, okay. Well, did you see? Victor did you see there. Victor? He was lying. Was he yeah, he was lying right next to me. Absolutely. What was yes. Victor? What was Victor doing? He was asleep, as far as I know. Well, he didn't wake up. I don't think he did. I mean, did it's you all, routinely did you all the time wakes tonight? me up. Did, did we everybody wake? have wine tonight? Yes, we did. Yeah, the bottle was still on the counter at the house. There was maybe a third of it left. Do you normally wake up when you hear Sarah? Yeah, I do. It, it wakes me up. Yeah. So every night when Sarah comes home. No, she, Sarah, Sarah's usually already home. She she works for financial services on the hill. She you know she's home usually before I am. She's usually home before anybody. Tonight was you know once in a while she stays at Tom and John's. So she said she might do that tonight. Might not. Uh, I don't think it normally wakes Victor up. You, you can ask him obviously. When you when you came downstairs, what what brought you downstairs? The, the grunting, yelling, whatever, yeah, in that. The what? The grunting. It wasn't, you know, it wasn't like someone said, hey, what are you doing here, or anything like that. It was, there weren't words. What I heard was, like, noises. But it's, it what, definitely did what, not what, sound... Hold on, hold on, hold on, you got me confused again. Because mm -hmm. I clearly asked you earlier, did you hear anything else? Did you hear anybody scream? You said it was absolutely quiet. You know, I, you said right after the chime. There was a period of right, time right after, the, after the chime when I was lying quiet. there. And I didn't hear anything. I I heard the chime. I said I thought, oh, Sarah's come home. Mm -hmm. Rolled back over, you know, and planning to go back to sleep. And then, no, I, I wasn't awoken again. again. I never went back to sleep. It, the the time period was that close. I mean, it was. You know, I don't know if it was 30 seconds, a minute, whatever, but I didn't go back to sleep. Wow. I heard the, the disturbance, and we both jumped up. Victor heard it, too. I mean, it, it wasn't the kind of thing you hear in your house and you don't go down and look. So, at what point did Victor wake up? Because you said he was asleep. I may have woken him up. I don't know. I mean... No, no, you may. You even know or you didn't. It ain't no way. No, I, I don't know. I don't remember. You know, See, I, again, your story is, is starting to bother me, because first you told my partner that you was waking the first time by the, sh by the shame and then you was waking it again by you may have thought that he went in and may have thought that he went out. You said you didn't hear any noise. No, I, you asked me if I was, if I heard the chime, I said yes, then it was quiet, it was quiet. I didn't hear anything right after but that. But now you're saying that you hear a grumping noise. After the period of silence. I hear the chime, there's a period of silence, there's grunting, Something. Kind of know. Describe it. They're like, Ugh! something like that. Loud, several of them, and we we run downstairs. Who 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 run downstairs? Me and Victor. And did Victor hear this? Yeah, I'm sure when you guys talked to him, he told you we did. No, 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 I'm asking you. Did he hear this? Yeah, you you. And I you assume that he did. Yes. Them, right. So, what conversation did you and him have after hearing that noise? We didn't have any. We just got up and we ran downstairs. I mean, this is all like that. So you didn't say, what's going on? Is, is, there, is somebody in trouble? Is, is there, no. Did you no. yell out for anybody at all? And did you say, hey, Rob, you okay? I may have said Robert when I ran down the stairs, but yeah, we, we it was instantaneous. We jumped out of bed, we ran down the stairs. After you heard the, the, the first song, song, after you heard that, that noise, how many minutes or seconds gone by when you heard the, the grunt noise? I don't know. And all I can tell you is I didn't fall back to sleep. It was close in time. So you said seconds that. earlier. And then... It might have been a second. Might have, I said a minute or two minutes. I don't so, know. well, let me just say this. You hear the grunting, and now you're instantly running down the stairs virtually, right? Yeah. But no one else is in your house at that point? We don't know. We don't know. You'll well, see on the 911 tape, Victor didn't even want to go downstairs because he onto the first floor because he was afraid the person was still in our house. Okay, but as you're running down the stairs, uh, uh, is your theory that he's running down the other stairs? This person is no, intruding? no. I, I don't know what's going on. I, I you know, it's it, it's not I'm even. I'm asking. No, I don't know. I, it's I don't believe it's at that point. It is not even in the realm of possible that anything has happened to Robert. All I know is I heard some noise. But really, something did. So what I'm asking you is, where'd this guy go? 
I believe you ran out of the house. Between the grunting and you running down the stairs, which happens like Yeah. Wow, yes. that's fast. You, I agree with you. Look, it's a crazy... I mean, why didn't he... Why wasn't I mean, the back think, door wide open? Why were, wasn't the gate wide open? Why didn't he go out the front door? Yeah, but you would think that you were running to this guy and you would see this guy running. Yeah, maybe. Because you said seconds. Yeah. I seconds. mean, it, it, it really was... That minute, seconds. Yeah. I think and that's right. you didn't right. hear anybody running down the stairs or anything. Yeah. I didn't. So what makes you think it's a burglary if you didn't hear anybody right? Because he that, knows in his heart couldn't be. Uh, you know, I, 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 yeah. couldn't be Dylan. I, I know it's, be you new guys don't know it's from Adam, so who knows? You know, we could all be crazy as loons, but you know, all I can tell you is it wasn't one of them. It wasn't me. We have no reason on earth to do this. I mean, my, I know Robert's whole family. I mean. When, you know, the crime of passion always happened like that. This isn't a crime of passion. Well, no, I'm just, I'm just giving you an example that okay. sometimes, you know, Somebody, people might not know one another. It couldn't be. Yeah. Right. It's never happened. Yeah. Okay, well, I, you know, I know it's not Victor or Dylan. And well, this, I know. What do you know about Dylan? What about his health? How's he doing? His health is very good. 